And welcome my fellow scouts to Napoleon Total War 3 4v4 battle replay today. Today's replay is posted to me on my Discord by E. It's like 24 E's, I think. His allies today are Driscoll, Mahomes Manel 5, and Salty Lucky. Their opponents today are Chainmail, a familiar name, Implex Horatio, also familiar to me, and Amateur Prostate Exam, <laughs> okay. Today's map is HB 1808 Balin. Now, we'll go through the factions first. We got, I think, um, actually this is a commander-based army, but this is a Portugal commander-based army. We have Bresfield Sul. Over here we have Compigny. I can't say that. A Spanish army for sure. <laughs> and we have here Custa. Now, I said four. I see Kunji there. And we have Weasley, Peninsula. Okay. So those are our four commanders today. Two Spanish, one English, one Portugal. And it looks like we've got one unit you know, with some sort of Vanguard ability way out here for some reason. There's no points on the map today, so it's a winner-take-all kind of deal. Looks like we've got the Spain 18... Well, this is a Spanish commander, Joseph CR. I've seen that one before. Over here we have some Grand Imperials. Really hard to distinguish between... Okay, so we have three Grand Army Imperial... Well, three Grand Imperial Armies here, belonging to the French. Good luck trying to distinguish between them. we got here, what... Michael Ney, also Ney, and um, Homie, <laughs> Homie, de, Homie de Glace, and over here we have John du Sult, John du Sult, there you are, so familiar names to me, you know, we are ways off from the engagement, but if you guys want to see your own replays featured here on this channel, you can send it here to links displayed on your screen, which are my Discord ID and my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com, both, both methods allow you to send me replays directly. You can also join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post your replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel you will find there, or you can also tag me in your respective replays that you post on any Discord, as I do follow that all the time. Now, if you also want to support the channel, which is greatly appreciated, by the way, don't forget to leave a like on this video, make sure you subscribe, tick that bell for notifications, so you never miss a battle as it drops. And leave your own thoughts about this one in the comment section below. Just comment, comment, comment. Always enjoy reading them. Alright guys, we're just back briefly to see what happens to this Spanish unit here that deployed so far ahead of the rest of the army. France here is in danger of being charged. Spain here could have shot him, but he waited too long. And now France is going to try and charge into the flank. It's a trap! And Spain is not going to fall for it, he's going to get out of there. We had the French armies there just waiting to pounce as soon as the Spanish tried to charge into this unit. This unit did break. They might come back. But that was a little that was a deliberate trap. He charged him into that unit intentionally to try and draw the Spanish forces in. It almost worked too. Those forces would have been locked in combat with that unit, at the same time the Armada would have charged into them and wiped them out. So a nice pullback there from the Spanish player. This unit can form square, so you know it's not by no means vulnerable to cab charge. They're running too, so they're doing their best to get away and get back to the rest of the army, which is so far away. But, he doesn't have to go that far, he just needs to get to his cavalry lines. Which aren't too far. But, France is moving on him again. He's got to form square again. Yep, he's forming square. He nailed about three there. Four in total. Now this campaign is only really worth it if there's supporting troops nearby. But there isn't. There's no infantry around them. So is it worth risking your cavalry to sort of hook this unit and keep it here? Until reinforcements arrive. I mean, ha how many horses will it cost him to do this? We got Weasley moving up. He's got a couple of units here, some Dragoon Guards. The Blue Horse, Live Dragoons here. Scarlet Lancers, eh? Portugal's moving up with their cav. Spanish is moving up a lot with their cav. Cazadores. Lots of Cazadores. Hussars. Maybe our first battle here. 
We've got some Vaulty Girls at Camp Home Square. We've got the Weasley Skirmishes here firing on these guys. Crown's Cavalry springing into action. English is coming in. Hard to say whether or not this will be a catalyst for a much larger engagement. We've got the Royal American Rifles here getting in dangerously close here to infantry. Okay. We've got France sending in more care, Portugal sending in reinforcements. Spain's also sending in reinforcements. Red team has achieved superiority over here. Blue team is being decimated. Red team is in full pursuit looking to take down the horses, stop them from coming back to the battle. This unit will get away though, should come back actually. General, we've got a unit here, a French unit that's formed square. Should make things difficult for the red team, Cav. We've got some. What are these guys called? Some Tarragona moving in. Hard to say whether or not they're going to go in for a bayonet charge or just shoot them. They probably should have formed up and fired a volley into the retreating cavalry. It says here that these guys are going to be firing, point blank. Certainly one way to kill your opponent. It's kind of what I like to see, you know, fire right in the enemy's face. Now, do we have any other engagements? It looks like we've got some action here in the city. Got a bit of a street fight on our hands. Looks like Spain is challenging France for control of this house. We've got a long column here of Spanish forces. France could turn around here and blast the Spanish troops as they come past them. The question is will they do that or not? No, Spain took the house very quickly. Which is very fortunate for them. What are these guys shooting at? Okay, must be shooting at the cab, but that's a lot of range. And Spain doesn't have, well, too many troops. Actually, I scratched that Spain has a ton of troops in the area. France is going to be pretty cautious about his approach here. Looks like the bulk of the Spanish force here is swinging right there away from the city. Got a large number of Spanish cav here. We've also got three eight pounders. Potentially they can fire into the French cavalry in the distance there. Probably should on D Limba. It's Limba, not Lumba. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Um, I think uh, Malek for that. Or Scott, I think his name is. The Portugal unit here is obviously broken. Down to half strength. English charging into some well French skirmishes. That's a fight cavalry can always win. And these guys can't form square. Now where's the cab going? Uh, I probably saw the Dragoons come in. Oh no, England's turning around. So the real question is why did he pull back if he's just going to charge in again? Well, maybe he was just trying to charge in, in the first place. But the American rivals here might be trying to take some shots here at the French cavalry. The France gathering out there. But he's not coming towards Spain. At least not yet. This Spanish cavalry needs to stretch out a bit. He's also sending over some infantry, managed to take on the two French units coming towards him to protect the cavalry. And he's going to try and keep the cavalry behind those two units of Spanish infantry. 
It may even three units of Spanish infantry, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I think it's three units of Spanish infantry. But yeah, he's got to keep the calf here to protect the rear of this army. Portugal is sending a few troops here. Maybe too many. Although, he's possibly just shattering this French army, which I didn't see coming around here before. We've got the three French armies here concentrating their entire force in a very small area. This is a bit interesting. The artillery itself, still yet to delimber. You would have thought they'd be firing at the French cavalry already, but... Maybe I'm just being a little bit impatient because it seems to be what they're doing right now. Alright, well, we got Joseph here. Looks like he's had enough. He can't win against Portugal, Spain, and England. Which has a mixture of forces in the area. So, I don't know, Joseph is actually moving away here from his allies. This could be disastrous here for the blue team. It's creating a huge gap here with this. Where the nearest French Imperial Army could be outflanked. Joseph have got, has got to move back across this way to close that gap. Now fortunately the France has some artillery up here. Which will provide some support. And take out possibly a lot of troops. As they move over this way. We've got here some King German six pounders here. Coming up. Portugal and Spain setting up some skirmishes. And one unit of light infantrymen. We've got a huge column of French forces coming this way. Now the artillery hopefully is targeting this area here. A direct here would be so juicy for him. It's almost impossible to ignore. I think I see some shells coming over this way. Let's have a look. Okay, they're going after the French cavalry in the distance there. The Spanish infantry probably just needs to move down towards the riverbank to avoid being hit by their own artillery. The artillery tries to focus down the French armies here. Portugal has got to be almost in range here of the French forces. France is also delimbering their own artillery here along their line, which will put Portugal at a decisive disadvantage. Okay, Joseph's linking up with his allies, which is good to see. Now the red team looks a bit more disorganized. Blue team looks far more organized on their side. He's closing in fast. England's struggling to reform here. Okay. Both sides are about ready to fire. France first to fire. Okay. A good return volley there from the English. Portugal's going to move up a little bit. England and Spain have some reinforcements there in the background. All hope is lost, sir. This battle is almost done. Spain's going to get these forces moving. Crack the whip. It's an interesting line, isn't it? Let's do a quick survey count. 20 there, nearly 50 there. About 30 there. Very little there. 
Portugal's really just engaged, so light casualties here. Yeah, France isn't faring too bad here. Our men are running, sir. Okay, that unit's been hit hard. They're down 60 men. The rest of the units seem the rest of the units there seem to be doing pretty well. These guys here down almost 50. We got a cap charge here. France forming square though. But the cab was a smoke screen. Portugal bayonet charging their enemy. Portugal's got a lot of faith in their melee combat. Look, these guys here ready to fire straight into the French. Okay, it says they're firing. They gotta get a volley off. Oh, they're gonna be a net charge. Bugger. Yep, this is truly an epic line battle right now. Is Portugal going to fire? Is he going to charge in again? <laughs> Gets him right as they charge in. So far, England's committed a lot here to this charge. They seem to be driving back the French. At least in some parts, anyway. Spain's a little bit late to the party. Could be catastrophic here for the English. He's really pushed forward here. English troops charging forward into the broken enemy. Trying to kill as many as they can. France launching a counter-attack. Right. Quick survey, see where we're at. Okay, Joseph's trying to put their cab back to the wards of center. The rest of Joseph's line to the right here is pretty much on the run. Got the French cavalry here trying to push the English back, but it, it's not working, is it? England appears almost unstoppable as they move forwards. English cap continues to hammer the French line. We've got multiple French infantry units here that are not peeling off, not forming up, and not getting ready to try and shoot at the enemy cab as they move towards them. The French army here mostly still appears to be in column formation. We've got English troops approaching, already in, in a good firing position. More dragoons continue to charge in. Oh, good volley there from the six pounder. Cluster shot. Enemy general dead. That was Horatius. Over here. Okay. The player's trying to form up. Spain's pushing hard here with England. Okay, second enemy general to fall. Amateur prostate exam. On this side. Okay, Spain's teamed up with Portugal. France not ready yet to give up. Charging into the flank here of the Spanish cavalry. 
Might actually break them both. Okay, one down, two down. He did it. Okay. Looks like with the French Cav rallying on this side here. Could spell a lot of trouble here. We've got French artillery. Spain could peel off one Cav unit to go and take them out straight away. But it looks like he doesn't see it. Where are they going? Just running away. Charging after the French Cav. French Cav making sure these guys don't come back. He's going to try and chase them all the way to the line, probably. Spanish Cav is pursuing that unit. They should be able to get away. The French should be able to get away from the Spanish there. Portugal has been pushed back a little bit. Spanish artillery continues to fire on the French. Now. Okay, the French artillery is firing this direction here. The Spanish armies have basically lined up this artillery piece. He just needs to turn it a little bit to the left. And those troops are his. Kusta needs to just turn a little bit to the left here. And he can demolish his army before him. It's a mistake to continue to fire at whatever target he's going after, going after it there in the distance. So we've got a lot of French reserves here, which are highly vulnerable to the artillery, so I am sort of questioning what this player is thinking right now. He's probably he's probably thinking like it's good to have these reserves in place in case my line starts to falter and break and I've got troops that can be relatively there to, readily there to support them. But as I said, the artillery is actually starting to fire this way now, which is great news for the red team. And as a result, this guy needs to spread out his army here. It's too bunched up. Man continues to hold this building. France is doing their best to sort of push back against the English. It's just not working. They're going after the general. But the infantry manages to save them. We've got French troops here taking cover behind a barricade. Okay. France continuing to fall back behind the house. We got England and Spain moving quickly behind the city. They're going to come out behind the French. So the French have a choice here push or die. That's pretty much their only choice. They got to advance and smash their way through Portugal and Spain here and then turn around to face incoming forces of Spain and England on the other side. To be fair, they've got about, you know, 10 minutes or so. It'll take time for the armies to move around the city. So they shouldn't be panicking just yet. But, you know, Spain's got to... Sorry, France has got to ditch this reserve strategy and use his numbers to over, overwhelm and outnumber the Portugal force here. That... that Ground there looked like it was like a barrage, you know, it just sort of skirted along the ground. Do you see that? <coughs> Sorry about that. Cav charged in, of course. Infantry can't form square. Portugal's going for a charge here. This unit doesn't have a shot. France has a unit in place. But we've got Portugal Cav coming in to shut down this unit before they can fire into the Portugal forces.
Portugal getting into the French before they have a chance to fire. Every time. It did look like Portugal was in trouble and that France could have defeated him. But Portugal didn't wait for France to outmaneuver him. Instead he just charged straight at him and smashed through his ranks. Portugal had the units needed to break through. And they have severely chipped away here at the French army. The forces are practically collapsed on this side as well. And France is really bunching itself up here. Those are just the French units coming in from the background. Oh, Spain's outflanked France. France is turning in to face him. This would be a good time for Spain to charge in. Bayonet charge this unit here. Probably with this one. Charging this one would expose this unit to the firing of these two. Okay, Implex. Where's that at? Killed by Weasley. I think Weasley was the architect of the blue team's destruction. He's the one that charged in first. And, you know, Spain backed him up well. When England needed support, when England needed support Spain was always there, you know? France is doing surprisingly very well being fired upon by three separate units. Portugal is over here for some reason. He's not moving towards the French. There you go. We've got some units here that have reformed. They were broken before. Blue team's on its last legs. Where is the Spanish? The Spanish have arrived! Along with the English, or the first of the English units. And surprisingly, France has actually pushed back and beaten Spain's ranks here. Looks like the Spanish was going to hold them. But they, France managed to break through in the nick of time. And they can push forward and take out the Spanish units here, while also leaving some units behind to fire on the English as they come around the buildings here. Yeah, France needs to charge forward here. He's got to take out that artillery. France not willing to give up just yet. Here comes, here comes the French cavalry. That's not, that's not blue team cav. Saracens. Weasley's coming in with his cav. Oh, Spain's bayonet charging Joseph's cavalry. And he's gone. France is playing King of the Hill here. Oh, he just got there. By the skin of his teeth, he just got there. Ah, this is a hell of a last stand here from the French.
It is impressive. I thought Spain and Portugal were not going to hold them in place long enough for the English and Spain over here to arrive. What's this unit doing? These guys need to tear up. They're turning around here. They're going in for a bayonet charge. And we are finished here, guys. Great battle. Victory for E and his army here today. So, Driscoll, 1,112 there. Mahomes Manel 5, 2,445. Nicely done, man. E here, 1,502. Salty Lucky, 1547. I really thought English did the way there in that fight. Chainmail there, 575. Implex, 1229. Horatio, 968. Amateur Prostate Exam, 1004. Okay, best performances there were what? The Dragoons on 497. Nicely done, mate. Hassas here, 165. Uh, what's that? Salt Tass, 138. Nasco, 138. And Mikul River. 131 and Jean Marie Delane 102. So three, three out of five units that got over 100 were cavalry. The goons there served him very, very well. So, you know, well done there. The goons there, Numenia. Anyway, thank you to E for sending me the replay. That was great, mate. If you want to see your own replay for each video on this channel, you can send it to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can send it to me directly on the Discord via my Discord ID. Or you can join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post your replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel. You will find there. Or you can tag me in any replay you want to see featured here on this channel within any respective Discord as well. So Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.